So here we are on the northern Missouri farm and turkey season's done and we're in the very beginning phases of clearing out what we're going to call uh, the, the very first plot that we're going to have on here with our antler king product. So we're following their process step by step and the first thing that we need to do is to understand what kind of soil we're working with here. So we've got one of their soil test kits and what we're going to do is we're just going to find out real quick here how this works. And you know what? We've got a good pH in here. We've got an excellent. So it looks like we're going to have to potentially put on a little bit of lime and fertilizer, but honestly, I think we're okay here for the most part. So the next step, all this vegetation right here, it's got to go. Uh. wonder why we're doing heavy carries in the gym we don't have a full-wheel drive vehicle today and so we're gonna be carrying gallons of water and the sprayer up here to the plot to the plot and we got about 300 yards back and forth so we're gonna do the best that we can but until then this is why we train in the gym to be fit to hunt We're going to get out in lime and fertilize the food plots and since it's Monday and everybody's at work uh, I borrowed the kids sled and we're going to do this the old-fashioned way just a little bit of grunt work Got a little bit of work left to do. Daddy says if you want to hunt it, you gotta work it. The biggest mistakes that I made in terms of putting in this Antler King Game Changer food plot was really timing. I was pretty ate up with turkey season and I hunted all the way through the end. So we didn't get this in until the very last weekend in May. May, April was full of rain. So I suspect had we gotten this out a little sooner we'd have a little bit better growth right now. But the overall message here is that we put this in with literally hand sprayers, ground rakes, steel rakes and some garden weasels so we'd had no equipment whatsoever we're going to go on vacation for a few weeks when we come back we're going to get some more footage and i suspect that with a little more rain and time you're going to see the green get even better So here we are 
first day of the extended use season and Mr. Jack here dropped a doe about seven o'clock, a big doe. We were actually back in the timber. We weren't in this antler king food plot, but we aren't more than about 80 yards from it and there were three does coming in and uh, they were coming right to it. You can tell they have mowed this clover and the brassica and the ryegrass straight down and there's been a couple of bucks that have taken some exceptions to my apple trees that I planted in the fall over here. But the biggest thing is, this is the third deer that we got down on this 40 acres the last year we're going to take this year. And I'm really proud of you, buddy, because you're helping to feed the family. Good job. Thanks for watching. Make sure that if you're interested, uh, you check out the Antler King product line because it's phenomenal. And as always, stay fit to hunt.